So that's why this healing dimension has been so important, being with healing rooms, then being with healing rooms North America here, because we are coming into a whole new Holy Spirit movement. So it's as if the Lord's putting a whole new mantle on you. Matter of fact, and give me one each of those mantles there. I, I brought them. I make one every year, every time we change year at Rosh Hashanah. And I look, I, 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 because I want to have us wearing what represents. Uh, Rick, you and Lori, come stand up here with me. This year we did something different. We made one for the female and one for the male. Because even though we're becoming one new man, male and female, we're looking a little different right now as we move into that season. Now, here is the new mantle. I'll get Dutch to put it on you, Lori. This mantle is, has eight peonies on it in various phases of blossoming. And uh, you're going to think, well, what does that have to do with the year ahead? It has to do with Isaiah 35, forming a new highway from where you are with, your, with what you say so that people will walk in a different way. Now, and so we say right now that there is a strong decree coming for a new move of Holy Spirit out of this place. And Lori, that administrative gift that you have, the Lord says, I'm going to start causing it to blossom in new ways. And the Lord says, don't limit yourself just to a healing manifestation, for I'm about to blossom you out into new manifestations. And the Lord says, don't, don't uh, be worried about being a prototype. Don't be worried about uh, uh, experimenting. For the Lord says, there is a great eight month ahead blossoming for this place that God is about to do and you're going to be called up in a new way in many ways. Touch up on that one. Now we took this mantle. I don't think I've ever explained this before since uh, September and we uh, condensed it down. So it looked a little more, right there, yeah, just tear it open, like you do a Christmas gift. <laughs> well, they, won't, they won't let us bring knives on planes. You know, I'm real determined. We condense this down because, and when we started taking, you know, I, was, I went over there to look at the art. We're, we're artists. And when we started looking at it, it, when you condense it down, look at the difference in the look. And I knew that was supposed to be the male's new mantle. Put that on Rick. Rick, the Lord says, there's been a lot compacted in you. And the Lord says, you've expressed your way in ways many times in many ways. But the Lord says, uh, there's some promises that have been compacted down that I'm about to expand in a new way. Lord says, I'm going to spread them out. And the Lord says, you've been pressing to climb up. 
to see how certain things are going to happen. But the Lord says, now you just watch things start unfolding. If you'll say it, I'll unfold it. And I say, what has been condensed into the cells of people, you're going to have incredible revelation over how to speak a word and cause cells to begin to open up. This will be a season of cell reformation for the healing room movement. I say to you, it will be known that there's a new move of God unlocking the cells of people in this healing room movement. And I say to you, it's already in you. Start allowing me to unfold it, saith the Lord. Let's thank God for them. Now, here's a great picture of the year ahead. The line of the tribe of Judah is roaring from heaven. And it's because the lion here in the world structure is beginning to move around and roar, looking whom he may devour. And the Lord says, no, there's a new sound coming. And what actually pay means also is coming face to face. So here's what I see that the Lord is saying. I have a new thing I'm about to do in you. I'm going to blow from heaven into you and it's going to unlock what has been, un- what has been locked up in you. And I'm going to roar from heaven, and it's going to cause Judah to go first again. And I'm going to cause a Judah tribe, that apostolic prophetic tribe filled with sound, to rise up and move in an incredible way. You will roar with me, saith the Lord. Now let's just stand up and let's just let a roar out. Just let it out. Wow. It's in you. It's in you. It's in you. Now, now keep standing for a moment. So what we have in the year ahead is a major face-off. Say it out loud. A face-off is coming. Now, that's in a lot of arenas. But let's start with us tonight. First of all, you're going to face off your fears. You're going to look at that spirit of fear that has been attached to God trying to give you caution of how you walk and you're going to face it off. We're going to, we're going to do this in a second. So keep standing. You're going to face off your pursuers. That which has tried to make you go in a different direction. That which has tried to back you down. You're going to face off that which has pursued you, and you're going to pursue and recover all. You're going to face off enemies this year. I feel like the body of Christ is going to come into a new, especially God's people, a new understanding of enemies and how demonic hosts, because we're coming into such a supernatural season, enter people and then amass them together. And I'll show you tomorrow why this becomes so important for California. We are going to enter our promise. Say it out loud. I'm coming in. And then we are going to finish strong. 